Let's get it. Let's get it. Yo, welcome to episode four of Reezy Does It, where today we will be discussing best rap album from Louisiana. Mm. And the categories will be Wayne, Lil Wayne, Carter Three, Juvenile, 400 Degrees, Boosie Badass, and Master P Ghetto D. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and today we got a very, very special guest in the building. My homeboy, my brother, Trevor Jackson from the Trevor Jackson TV YouTube channel and the Trevor Jackson podcast Facebook group and stream his music, Snake the Great, T-H-A Great on Apple Music, Spotify and all platforms. Trevor, what's happening, my guy? What's poppin', fam, man? I'm just living life, enjoying life, man. That's all, fam. I hear you. Same here, man. So we're going to jump on into the categories. My man, uh, so we got Lil Wayne, Carter Three. Mm -hmm. which brought you such hits as Mr. Carter, A Millie, Comfortable, Mrs. Officer, Let the Beat Bill, Lollipop, and You Ain't Got Nothing On Me. What you mm -hmm. think about uh, Carter Three, Trevor? I think Carter Three, from a fan's perspective, was his most successful album. You know what I'm saying? It was, yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a phenomenal album. Every song on there was a quality record. Right. But, uh, from my perspective, it wasn't my favorite. Part of two was my favorite, but I, I, ain't nothing wrong. It's you know it's differences in life. You know what I'm saying? Favorite, best, most quality. It's just it's differences. I might be a little difficult. You know what I'm saying? But Carter three definitely belongs on the list though. Yeah, Carter three was that man, but Carter two was too. Yeah, Carter two was tough. Yeah, man, and uh, like I said, Mr. Carter, I'm really comfortable. Miss Officer, let the beat build, mm -hmm. lollipop. You ain't got nothing on me. That was one of my favorites, man, featuring Jewels and Fabulous. Mm -hmm. That I get money like a motherfucker. And nigga, you ain't got nothing on me. You, you know, know what's crazy, though? Fam? What's up? I, I, uh, <coughs> I like Manny Fresh Beats. I love Manny Fresh Beats. I love but, Manny Beats, too, man. But after 500 degrees when Lil Wayne got away from Manny Fresh Beats and started using more real instrumentation his career elevated yeah it, it, it elevated did. It did. And, and took off because those beats were now bouncy and techno and just New Orleans beats he had beats that the whole world could gravitate to after he separated himself from doing a lot with Manny even though he still was getting some of Manny production it's just mm -hmm. that when that Carter Three drop, we had never heard them like that over those high quality, hundred thousand dollar instruments like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you. I totally mm -hmm. agree. Snake the Grape. Yes, sir. So second on the list, and I just want to say we're not doing this in any particular order. We're just naming the artists as we go. So mm -hmm. second on the list is Juvenile, Four Hundred Degrees, featuring Huh, Ghetto Children, Run for It, Rich Niggas. Back that ass up, 400 degrees and juvenile on fire. Mm -hmm. what, do you think, what do you think about that 400 snake degree? My opinion, and I, and I might be biasing this though, or everybody not might not agree to it. That, that's the best album ever out of Louisiana. I can't deny that. I I, I feel I feel that snake. I that's feel the, that. That's the best album ever out of Louisiana. We, it's, it's some people that we ain't gonna talk about that might deserve to be mentioned on this list. A lot of folks. But that 400 degrees when it hit, it op it opened the door for Louisiana and it put Louisiana dip in a different category. It damn sure did. So mm -hmm. yeah, when that when that 400 jumped out, I, I quit I quit listening to No Limit. Man. I mean, you know, <laughs> much much respect to No Limit, but it wasn't nothing fading that 400 degrees when it came out, especially not from New Orleans. Yeah, but, but nothing nowhere in my opinion at that time. Yeah, at that time it was hard, and then. And then he had Jay Z was on the record. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z wasn't right. popping like that at that. He was popping, but he, he was popping though. Yeah, he, wasn't man, life. he wasn't the man he is now uh, at that time. But just having Hove on the record was big at that time, man. Yes, sir, absolutely. For real. But you could tell Hove was on his way at that time. Yeah, yeah. That's when he was money, money, cash, money, cash. Oh, that's when he was on that era with J Jermaine Dupri and all them boys. So yeah, 400 degrees. You can play, back it up in any any club right now, and it's gonna go crazy. You can play a couple of those records, and that album is 
almost 20 years old, ain't it? Yeah, actually 24 years old. 24 yeah. years later. Man. Yeah, 24 Approach, years later. Approaching 25. Yeah, that's a long time. And, and that's the highest selling album from uh, Cash Money still to this day. Oh, yeah, I believe that. Over Drake albums. Over Drake? Yeah, that's the highest selling album from Cash Money Records to this day. Everybody check your statistics. 7.5 million sold. That's saying a lot. That's saying a lot over Drake. Yeah, yeah. So let me mention the first two rappers we mentioned, Wayne and Juvenile, were both hot boys, which they both from New Orleans, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Juvie from Magnolia and Wayne from Holly Grove. So yeah. third on the list, we got the Boosie Badass album, which, <laughs> which features Set It Off. Mm -hmm. Soon. That's what they like. I remember. Soft or hard, my struggle, my nigga, exciting, smoking on purple. Now that my struggle by Boosie, that's one of my favorite rap songs ever, man. It don't get no realer than that, man. Mm -hmm. but, but Snake the Great, what do, what do you think? What do you have to say about this Boosie badass album? See, at the time when that Boosie came out, man, you had discussed this before too, as of recently. At that time when that Boosie album came out, he was on fire. A couple of those records was on 106 and Park, the videos and all of that on Zoom. Mm -hmm. That was that was the height of his rap career. Right. Even though he done had a re resurgence in entertainment with uh conversations and, and, and Vlad and, be, and being interviewed and stuff, but that, that was the height of his rap career. And that's the album I would suggest people to go listen to uh, if they uh, want to hear Bootsy at his peak and his prime, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. Me personally, at that time, I couldn't really listen to it because <clears throat> I'm from East Tennessee and we was on that Gucci and that Jeezy at that time, heavy. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that Bootsy was hard though. I can't cap. It was a, it was a nice album. That was his best project to work to date. And his, sec his second best project to me would be Touchdown to Kyle's Hill when he first got out of prison. Uh, well, mm -hmm. I'll say this. He had some that came out before this one that was, that was, it was banging, but that Touchdown to Kyle's Hill was banging too. But mm -hmm. so, so we got such hits as Set It Off, which is the song Odell Beckham Jr. said the Rams listened to before the Super Bowl in the locker room to, mm. set, it, to set it off against the Cincinnati Bengals. Then we got mm -hmm. Zone, which featured Young Jock. Mm -hmm. And then we got that's what they like. I remember, which is one of my favorites. That I remember, nigga. Then we got soft or hard. My struggle, like I said, which is one of my favorite rap songs ever. It don't get no really than that. If you never heard my struggle by Lil Boosie? Check it out now. Then we got my mm -hmm. nigga, exciting, featuring Lil Webby and smoking on purple. To ease my mind, that yeah. might have been my song on that thing. I hear that, you, man. That's sm that smoking on purple. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Snake the great man. Yeah. So next on the list, we got Master P with Ghetto D, mm. which featured such hits as Ghetto D. Let's mm. get them. I miss my homies. Weed and money. Captain Kirk. Make them say uh and bourbons and lax. What you got to say about that Ghetto D, Snake the Great, man? At the time when it dropped, that was the hottest thing on the street. It was at the time. I that's, agree. that's back when everybody used to have the old school with the uh, four by nines in the back and the four twelves in the trunk. And Irby Carter rode up and down the street was playing that I miss my homies and that bourbons and legs with the tens and the twelve. Everybody was playing that, but now to me, that album didn't age well. Like P Master P lyrics and Beats by the Pound production, it, it, it's not timeless music to me. I can't listen to it now personally, but it is uh, deserving to be on this list. It is a high quality album. <coughs> sold a lot of units too. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, I know it sold a lot of units. Twenty dollars a piece too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure do. But but it's just not of of my flavor, really. I could have put something above that if I think about it. I With really could have. But the impact that it had on the culture of hip hop. The impact is why it should be on the list, but musically, I could put stuff above it though. Name one album you could have put above it. Trevor. I could put Mr. Ice Cream Man above it. I, I totally agree with that. I, Ice I, Cream Man, and then he freaked that Key Sweat, 
that mm-hmm. um oh man i don't want to go outside the rain he freaked that talking about mm-hmm. his mama and him going to prison man that was dope man but I could put new new age Louisiana artist music above that too, though. Absolutely, yeah. And they had that body body on there. I ain't get a chance to mention that. Yeah. But I, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. My bad. I, I, I could put new age uh, artists above that ghetto D too, but the impact makes it deserving of, to be on the list. But musically, it's a couple of albums. I. I could say Webby Savage Life should be on her. I could I was say gonna mention that. NBA Young Boy Top should be on her. Or Kevin Gates Isla. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, man, I'm going to say this about P and Ghetto D, man. P and them, around that time when Ghetto D dropped, P and them, they took over the game, man. Ghetto mm-hmm. D could crack like this. Let's get them. I miss my homies. Mm-hmm. Every, every hood dude could relate to that at the time. We yeah. had money, Captain Kurt. Make him say, uh, which yeah. was a mega smash featuring Fiend, Miss Camille, X, Silta, Shaka, and also Bourbons and Lex, like we mentioned, man. But like my man Snake the Great mentioned, I do want to mention that Webby Savage, like, man, you want mm. G shit? Well, I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> Webby, Webby jumped out the gate hard with that junk, and then that is it my car, is it my clothes that mm. made these haters want to ate some more? So, yeah, I mean. We mentioned that. Uh, he mentioned NBA Young Boy, and he mentioned Kevin Gates. Anything yeah. else you want to add, Snake the Great? Nah, I, I ain't no diss to P or nothing either. That that was a phenomenal project. It's just I I gotta let the world know that you gotta make your albums to the point to where it, it it's not about today. It's about forever. Don't when I make raps and stuff, fam. I don't put dates on it. I don't talk about. Uh, like stuff that's going on really right now and then start saying it's such and such 1997 and all of that in my raps i don't put a uh, i try to make it timeless music so a person can listen to it 40 years from now well let me ask you this then snake the great talk to him what do you think is the most timeless no limit song that just pop in your head when you think about that catalog uh I, it's too much, fam, for me to single out one, just being honest. I tell you this, though. Talk at, at Pull a Kick, though, on that C Murder Life or Death oh. feature at UGK, that John Times. That John is Times. Pimp was on there, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pimp, Pimp, Pimp yeah. was on there. Pimp gonna put it down, now. Take that monkey shit off. You embarrassing us. To, to, yeah. be, to be honest with you, it's gonna sound like hating. Cause them boys was beefing or whatever, but pimp the best songs that ever came out from No Limit Pimp C was on them. Absolutely, like break them all, son. I miss that. Uh, that I miss my homies on that. Uh, on that limit, ghetto uh, D. Yeah. On the ghetto D. It's it's, it's break them off some on Ice Cream Man. Like uh, what was that? He had some man. It had too many records. It was just that's gonna sound that's gonna sound funny to people that's No Limit fans. But I'm just being honest, dog. I'm gonna say this, man. <laughs> That BG Chopper City in the ghetto definitely deserve an honorable mention, man. You got Cash Money as an army. I'm by my paper. Yeah. And, and all kind of hits in between them joints. In between them songs on that uh Chopper City in the Ghetto, man. Anything mm-hmm. you anything you want to say about that BG album, Chopper City in the Ghetto, Snake <laughs> the Great? I could say a lot about that Chopper City in the Ghetto. Success wise, it don't deserve to be on the list, success wise. I'm sure it went platinum though, Snake. Oh, yeah, but all of these albums went four, four, five times platinum though. Every last yeah. one of them, right? But uh, it, it success wise, it don't deserve to be on the list. But me as a, a fan, I listen to that album probably more than Ghetto D and more than Carter Three. Yeah, yeah. And what I what I'm listening to because I wanna I wanna be entertained, and I was entertained by BG Raps more than I was entertained by Lil Wayne and Master P. Personally, that's just personally better than Lil Wayne back then at that time. I'm, I'm talking about at the I, I like the Chopper City in the ghetto more than I like Carter Three over any time of my life. You know what? You got a point there. I have to agree with you. <laughs> now, that, now that you mentioned, I have to agree with you, Trevor. Oh, man. Yeah, over any time of my life, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna put Chopper City in the ghetto in before I put in Carter Three. And I know that sounds like blasphemy to some people, but not to me. I, I know where I come from and what I want to hear and how I want to hear it. So 
it, it's just it's only right. Right. <laughs> and we mentioned that Webby Savage Life. Of course, we mentioned Boosie Badass. But I want to mention uh, Boosie and Webby album together. Ghetto Stories featuring uh, Show Your Tattoo with Bun B mm-hmm. featuring Give Me That with mm-hmm. Webby. Um, yeah, man. Them boys put it down, man. Um, mention the Hot Boys. Get it how you live. Manny yeah, Fresh on every beat. Yeah. Yeah, That's man. All. Yeah, you got the blur- block burner, whole block catching fire. Mm-hmm. Girl, that's juvenile. You don't know me on fire. Seventeen yeah. is my most like magic on the tire. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, them boys was hard. Them boys was hard. Louisiana has put out a lot of talent. A whole they, lot of talent. They sure have, man. Um, mm-hmm. Is there any album that you want to give an honor mention to Snake the Great before we well, I, get I, out of here? I like Young Bleed too. I like Young, Young Bleed. Young Bleed was dope. Uh, yeah, how you do that too? I wonder where he's at today, though. That's what's crazy. Where yeah. is Young Bleed today? Yeah, you know Young Bleed from Baton Rouge. Mm-hmm. Them Baton yeah. Rouge, them Baton Rouge boys was tough. I want to uh, give an honorable mention to anything NBA Young Boy doing. I, I got a feeling by the time it's all said and done with NBA Young Boy, and I'm I'm 42 saying this, y'all. He gonna be the biggest artist, hip hop artist to ever come out of Louisiana. Maybe one of the big. Biggest hip hop artist ever, NBA Young Boy, running it up. He running yeah. it up with them numbers, man. Yeah, he, and he got some pretty good music. He he got a lot of melodies in his records, and he doing his thing, man. And, and, and he putting on for Louisiana. Kevin Gates doing his thing. He, sometimes he could get a little bit out of my type of character with the feminine stuff, and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. But but he makes phenomenal music. A lot of those artists down there make a lot of good good music, man. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we just covered best rap album from the state of Louisiana. Well, mm-hmm. we covered Lil Wayne, Carter Three, Juvenile, 400 Degrees, Boosie Badass, and Master P. Ghetto D. Yeah. Anything you need to say, Snake the Great Fan? Which one was your favorite? I'm going to tell the people mine. Out of those four. I'm going to say this, man. My favorite was 400, but you'll be surprised. And guess what my second one was? And that'd be that Boosie Badass, My Struggle. <laughs> that would be Boosie Badass with My Struggle, man. Yeah, yeah. The baby mama drama made me want to holler. Plus, I lost all my ghetto role model. This is my struggle, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So, like, yeah. What What about you, Snake the Great? What's your favorite? 400 Degrees and a Blowout. If I had only one CD to play for the next month out of those four, you can burn the mother three and let me get that 400. Get that 400. <laughs> okay, okay. Dig that, yeah. dig that, man. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank y'all tuning in to Reezy Does It, episode four. Best rappers, excuse me, best rap albums out of the state of Louisiana. And Snake the Great, guess what, family? Talk to him. Boy, you should have known by now. Reezy Does It. Brit, brit, brit.